Have you ever felt that something is not quite right in your relationship? Maybe it's just a bad day, or maybe it's just a rough patch, or maybe it's something more serious. We often deceive ourselves into thinking everything will be fine, that we're overthinking things. But what if that's not the case? What if those signs are not just in your head? In life, many of us maintain unhealthy, even toxic relationships without realizing it. We doubt ourselves, wondering if we're imagining things. The signs of a toxic relationship are not always obvious. They can be very subtle and easily overlooked if you're not paying attention. This video is not about spreading fear or making you doubt every little detail in your life. Rather, I want to help you recognize the subtle signs that can be harmful. This may not be pleasant, but it is crucial for you to live a free and peaceful life, true to the spirit of Stoic philosophy. So, Let's explore the 10 signs of a toxic relationship by watching the video till the end and not missing any signs. Because just one of these 10 signs can help you protect yourself and build healthier and happier relationships. Are you ready to take on this journey? Leave a comment saying, I challenge myself and let's walk this path together to find the truth. Number one, having a punitive mindset. A punitive mentality in toxic relationships often manifests through the belief that others deserve to endure the bad things that happen to them. This is particularly evident when one does not truly apologize but instead tries to justify their actions. For example, when I get angry and insult you, and when you are upset, I say, I'm sorry for hurting you, but you provoked me. This is not a sincere apology, because what I am really saying is, I don't like that you are upset, but you deserve to be punished by me for your stupid actions. This is the punitive mentality. Stoic philosophy emphasizes controlling our emotions and reactions. A Stoic practitioner learns not to let others affect their emotions too much and will not justify their actions by blaming others. As the philosopher Epictetus once said, it is not events that disturb people it is their judgments concerning them. This quote reminds us that it is our perception and reaction to situations that matter. Imagine being in a relationship where every argument results in your partner blaming you for provoking them. Would you feel that this relationship is fair and healthy? A punitive mentality not only hurts others, but also makes the relationship tense and toxic. Stoicism encourages us to develop tolerance and understanding instead of punishment and blame. By applying the principles of Stoic philosophy, we can learn to view things with calmness, maintaining a mind unaffected by negative emotions. This not only helps us maintain inner peace, but also strengthens and makes our relationships healthier and more sustainable. Understanding that true strength lies in controlling our own reactions opens the opportunity to build relationships based on respect, empathy and genuine love. Number two, chronic anger. Imagine you are walking on a peaceful road. The sunlight filtering through the foliage creates shimmering streaks on the ground. Suddenly, the atmosphere changed. 
dark clouds gathered, and nature's fury erupted in the form of a fierce storm. Just like this sudden storm, chronic anger in a relationship can explode at any time, turning peaceful moments into a constant state of stress and anxiety. Chronic anger can manifest itself in many forms, from sudden outbursts, irritability, and mood swings. And it doesn't just stem from depression or anxiety. In this case, people use anger as a tool for control. They can explode emotionally when dissatisfied, creating an atmosphere where others have to be careful with every action and every word to avoid making them angry. This leads to a vicious cycle of fear and self-censorship, where you no longer feel free and at ease. Take the example of Maria, a young woman married to an angry husband, John. Every time Maria does something that doesn't please John, he gets angry, screams, and destroys things. Maria felt like she was living on thin ice, always having to measure every action and every word so as not to make John angry. She had to control even the smallest things, from table setting to TV channel selection, just to avoid his outbursts. According to Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, anger is not an inevitable reaction, but a choice. Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When dealing with chronic anger in a relationship, we need to realize that letting someone's anger control one's life is unhealthy. Instead, we need to learn how to maintain calm and self-control, not letting ourselves get caught up in a spiral of negative emotions. This not only helps protect our mental health, but also helps us make more informed decisions about staying in or leaving that toxic relationship. If you have experienced or witnessed chronic anger in a relationship, please share your story in the comments section. How did you apply Stoic philosophy to deal with this situation? Let's share experiences and find peace in life. Number three, extremely opinionated. The inflexibility in personal views is when someone firmly maintains their stance, regardless of circumstances or others' opinions. Such individuals often refuse to listen to or consider other viewpoints, considering their own as the only correct one. This is not limited to everyday arguments, but permeates all aspects of life, from religion and politics to personal matters. Epictetus, one of the renowned Stoic philosophers, once said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Stoicism emphasizes that flexibility in thinking and the ability to listen not only help us understand the world better, but also improve our relationships with others. Manifestations of stubbornness include always trying to impose one's views on others, refusing to listen to or consider different opinions, frequently engaging in arguments to defend one's personal views and showing annoyance or hostility when challenged. For example, in a company meeting about implementing remote work policies, the CEO adamantly opposes this policy, believing that working in the office is the only way to ensure productivity. Despite many employees presenting convincing reasons for the benefits of remote work, such as increased work efficiency, improved work-life balance, and reduced commuting time, 
the CEO remains unwilling to listen. He rejects considering that a flexible work environment might better suit the needs and desires of employees. To deal with stubbornness, Stoic philosophy offers the following advice. Firstly, self-awareness. Recognize when one is becoming too rigid and try to adjust. Secondly, genuine listening. Take the time to truly listen and understand others' viewpoints. Thirdly, acceptance of diversity. Understand that there are many ways to view an issue and everyone has the right to their own opinion. Fourthly, learning from others. Everyone has something to teach us, even those with different viewpoints. Jesus taught, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This encourages us to open our hearts, listen and learn from everyone, including those with opposing views. Jesus' teachings emphasize the importance of acceptance and flexibility in thinking, helping us build healthier and more harmonious relationships. Number 4. Chronic Sarcasm Chronic sarcasm is one of the clearest signs of a toxic relationship. Chronic sarcasm not only hurts the recipient, but also creates emotional instability for both parties. Therefore, instead of using sarcasm, we should learn to confront and resolve issues openly and constructively. Stoic philosophy encourages us to maintain calmness and respect in communication, helping to maintain harmony and peace in relationships. People who are too rigid in their personal views often fail to accept the differences of others, leading to conflicts and tension. Stoic philosophy teaches us to open our hearts and listen, as wisdom does not come from defending our own views, but from understanding and accepting others' perspectives. A classic example is the story in the Bible about Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well. Jesus, though Jewish and potentially rigid in his views towards Samaritans, opened his heart to listen and converse with this woman. In doing so, he taught us about tolerance and compassion and that we should not judge others based on our own rigid perspectives. In daily life, if we are too rigid and unwilling to accept different opinions, relationships can easily become tense. Therefore, flexibility and the ability to accept differing views are signs of maturity and wisdom. Chronic sarcasm and rigid personalities are both signs of toxic relationships, causing harm and tension. Applying Stoic philosophy to life, we should learn to communicate sincerely, open our hearts to listen, and accept differences to maintain healthy and happy relationships. As Jesus taught, tolerance and compassion are the keys to building strong and peaceful relationships. Are you sure you can explore this teaching of the Lord? Remember the phrase, tolerance and compassion are the keys to building strong relationships to let us know you've found the answer for yourself. Number five, negative flag. To delve deeper into the fifth factor, let's explore Anna's story. She'd been dating Brian for two years. Initially, everything seemed perfect, but gradually she began to notice many negative signs in their relationship. 
Brian started to control Anna's time and actions, frequently ridiculed, and criticized her in front of friends, and always made her feel anxious and insecure. When Anna wanted to attend a church ceremony, she was looking forward to. Brian became angry and tried to prevent her from going. At this point, Anna realized the relationship had become toxic. Negative warning signs or negative flags are signals that help identify toxic relationships. These signs may not be clear from the beginning, but when they consistently appear, they will seriously affect mental health and emotions. Control and manipulation. Similar to Brian controlling Anna's time, controllers often try to manipulate the behavior and decisions of their partner, using subtle tactics to make them feel constantly wrong. Criticism and ridicule. Frequent ridicule, especially in front of others, diminishes confidence and self-esteem. This is an unacceptable form of emotional violence, creating anxiety and insecurity. When someone consistently creates feelings of anxiety and insecurity for their partner, they are creating an unhealthy environment, leading to psychological issues like depression or anxiety. Stoic philosophy emphasizes maintaining inner peace and not allowing external factors to affect the mind. When faced with negative signs, Stoic practitioners will maintain self-control, have a clear understanding of their self-worth, and not allow anyone to harm their spirit. In the journey of recognizing and escaping from toxic relationships, faith in God can play a significant role. Anna, with a strong faith in God, found comfort and strength to face difficulties. Faith helped her realize that everyone deserves to be loved and respected and she should not accept unjust treatment from anyone. We thank you for taking the time to watch the video and join us in exploring the signs of a toxic relationship through the lens of Stoic philosophy. The negative warning signs we just discussed are an important part of identifying and protecting yourself from unhealthy relationships. Was this content helpful to you? Please leave a comment, yes or no. We hope this information will help you be more confident in recognizing and handling difficult situations in life. Continue watching the video to learn more about how to identify a manipulator in a relationship. System, another important aspect that we will discuss shortly. Number six, the manipulator. Have you ever felt manipulated in a relationship without realizing it until it was too late? Have you ever felt like you were being controlled and couldn't break free. Toxic relationships can manifest in various forms, but one of the clearest signs is the presence of manipulation. Manipulators often use subtlety and cunning to control and exploit others for personal gain. They excel at making you feel guilty or doubting yourself thus controlling your behavior and decisions. These individuals not only cause psychological harm, but also undermine your confidence and autonomy. Stoic philosophy, with its solid foundation of self-control and tranquility in the face of adversity, provides powerful tools to identify and deal with manipulation. Marcus Aurelius, one of the famous Stoic philosophers, recognized clearly what is within our control 
and what is not as the key to maintaining inner peace. When dealing with manipulators, it's crucial to realize that your emotions and reactions are what you can control, not the behavior of others. To recognize a manipulator, pay attention to signs such as they often make you feel guilty or uneasy. They manipulate information or circumstances to benefit themselves and they make you feel like you can't live without them. When these signs appear, maintain your composure and use the wisdom of Stoic philosophy to assess the situation calmly and objectively. Remember, you have the right and ability to protect yourself from negative impacts. Self-awareness and steadfastness in your life principles will help you deal with manipulators and maintain your inner freedom. And remember that true strength doesn't come from controlling others, but from controlling yourself. Let's help each other grow. If you've experienced manipulation or have experience handling toxic relationships, share your story and thoughts in the comments section of this video. Number seven, excessive insecurity. Excessive insecurity in a partner can cast a dark shadow over a relationship, leading to constant doubts, jealousy, and an insatiable need for reassurance. While seeking a certain level of security from a loved one is natural, excessive insecurity often indicates deeper issues of self-esteem and trust. This behavior can be emotionally draining, creating a toxic environment where one partner feels perpetually burdened by the other's need for validation. From the perspective of Stoic philosophy, nurturing inner peace and confidence is essential rather than relying solely on external affirmations. When a partner is overly insecure, they tend to project their fears and uncertainties onto the relationship, making it difficult for both individuals to grow. This continuous cycle of seeking validation not only exhausts the giver, but also prevents the insecure partner from finding their own inner stability. Moreover, excessive insecurity can manifest in behaviors such as jealousy, possessiveness, and constant questioning, all of which undermine the foundation of trust and respect. A relationship should be a haven of mutual support and growth, not a battleground for continuous validation. Recognizing and addressing these behaviors is crucial for the health of the relationship. Open and honest communication combined with patience and understanding, can help identify the root causes of insecurity and work towards a more balanced and fulfilling relationship. Incorporating a spiritual aspect, it encourages us to seek self-worth in a higher power rather than solely in human relationships. Believers in God are often reminded that their values and identity are grounded in God's love and acceptance. This perspective can provide a profound sense of inner peace and security, easing the burden on the partner to provide constant validation. It teaches that one's worth is inherent and not dependent on external affirmation. In conclusion, Excessive insecurity is a significant red flag in any relationship. It signals a need for deeper self-reflection and personal growth. By applying the stoic principles of inner strength and self-confidence, and perhaps seeking solace in spiritual faith, 
individuals can overcome insecurity and build healthier, more supportive relationships. Recognizing this behavior is an important step towards healing and fostering a dynamic where both partners can thrive, confident in their own worth and secure in their shared journey. Number eight, disparaging humor. Disparaging humor involves making jokes based on shortcomings, often under the guise of just kidding. While humor is essential in a relationship, constant offensive jokes can be harmful. This type of humor lowers the self-esteem of your partner and creates a disrespectful environment. Disparaging humor fosters a toxic atmosphere where one person feels superior to the other. Recognizing this behavior is crucial in addressing and preventing the long-term damage it can cause to the relationship. This behavior also conflicts with teachings about love and respect. The Bible teaches us to love one another as I have loved you. This love is unconditional and respectful, not diminishing or degrading to others. Disparaging humor breaks this love, replacing it with insecurity and pain. When we make hurtful jokes towards those we care about, we are not loving them as God loves us, with compassion and respect. Addressing disparaging humor in a relationship requires open and honest communication. The recipient of these jokes should feel empowered to express their feelings about the jokes. The person making the jokes, upon realizing the impact of their words, needs to make an effort to change their behavior. It's about creating a safe space where both people feel respected and valued. In summary, disparaging humor is a toxic trait that can deeply affect a relationship. It undermines self-esteem, creates disrespect, and conflicts with both Stoic and Christian principles of uplifting and loving one another. Recognizing and addressing this behavior is essential for the health and sustainability of any relationship. By creating a respectful and supportive environment, we can build stronger, more loving connections and achieve our highest ideals. Recognizing and preventing the signs of a toxic relationship is crucial to protecting your mental health and well-being. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Let's spread this message so everyone can build healthier and more sustainable relationships. Number nine, predominant self-centeredness. Predominant self-centeredness is a hallmark of toxic relationships where one friend consistently prioritizes their own needs over those of others. This behavior creates an imbalance, eroding trust, mutual respect, and emotional connection. Consider the story of David and Mike. Initially, Mike seemed very friendly and supportive. However, as their friendship progressed, his self-centeredness became apparent. Mike always saw affirmation and ensured his needs were met first. For example, he planned meetups based on his interests, disregarding David's preferences. When David expressed his desires, Mike dismissed them, deeming David's requests unimportant in Stoic philosophy, the principle of sympathia teaches us to recognize our interconnectedness and act with empathy. 
Mike's behavior was entirely contrary to this virtue. His seemingly generous acts were devalued by his expectation of something in return. He often reminded David of his sacrifices, making David feel guilty instead of appreciated. Self-centered individuals give only after their own needs are fully satisfied, and even then, their generosity is often tinged with resentment. Mike frequently complained about what he had done for David, casting himself as a victim of David's ingratitude. This toxic cycle left David feeling undervalued and neglected. The emotional burden on David became unbearable. He constantly had to tread carefully, fearing any request would be met with disdain. Recognizing Mike's self-centeredness, David learned to value his own needs and sought relationships based on mutual respect and care, reflecting the values of Stoic philosophy. Number 10. A Controlling Nature Controlling nature in a relationship is one of the most subtle and damaging behaviors one can experience. It often begins subtly, with the controlling partner managing small aspects of your life, such as what you wear, who you spend time with, or how you spend money. Over time, this behavior escalates, spreading to more significant areas of your life, such as career choices, personal beliefs, and even your thoughts. This need for control usually stems from deep-seated insecurity and a desire to maintain dominance, creating an environment where one partner feels superior while the other becomes increasingly stifled and oppressed. Stoic philosophy, with its emphasis on personal autonomy and respect for the freedom of others, is fundamentally opposed to controlling behavior. According to Stoic principles, each individual has the right to their own thoughts, actions, and decisions. A healthy relationship should nurture these principles, fostering an environment where both partners can grow and thrive as individuals. When one partner seeks to control the other, it undermines the mutual respect and trust that a relationship should be built on. The impact of a controlling partner can be profound. It often leads to a loss of self-confidence and a sense of isolation as the controlled partner feels increasingly helpless and dependent. This dynamic creates a toxic cycle where the controlling partner's behavior becomes more oppressive and the controlling partner becomes more compliant out of fear of conflict or abandonment. Recognizing this pattern early is crucial, as unchecked controlling behavior can escalate into more severe forms of manipulation and abuse. In a truly healthy relationship, both partners should feel free to express themselves and make their own choices without fear of punishment or control. They should support each other's growth and encourage autonomy, creating a sense of cooperation and equality. If you find yourself in a relationship where your freedom is constantly being infringed upon, it is important to recognize the red flags and take steps to address the issue. This may include setting clear boundaries, seeking support from trusted friends or professionals, or in some cases, making the difficult decision to leave the relationship. Applying stoic principles of autonomy and respect can help you navigate these challenges and prioritize your well-being. Remember, a relationship should be a source of support and joy, not a battlefield for control 
and domination. Recognizing and addressing controlling behavior is a crucial step towards building a healthier and more fulfilling relationship where both individuals can thrive. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Don't get fooled. How to recognize a toxic relationship. Stoicism. Hopefully, the information we share will help you recognize the signs of a toxic relationship and find peace in your life. We want to hear your opinions. What signs have you experienced in a toxic relationship? Please share your story in the comments section below. Don't forget to like if you find this video useful and share it with people you think also need to know about this information. To not miss any videos from us, press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way, you'll always be up to date with the latest lessons and philosophies to apply to your life. Finally, continue watching the next videos shown below to discover more about how to apply Stoic philosophy to daily life. Thank you for your support and see you in the next videos. Wishing you all strength and peace on your journey.